Good morning. It's nice to see you. I'm glad you came to visit. Let's wake up Trundle. Trundle, it's time to get up. Good morning, Mr. Quigley. Did you sleep well? I sure did. Did you get the mail yet? Well, not yet, but oh, here comes Molly. Good morning, Mr. Quigley. Good morning. Morning, Trundle. Morning, Molly. I have your letter for you right here. Well, what, thank you. What does it say, Mr. Quigley? Let's see. If you can be trusted with small responsibilities, then you will be trusted with bigger responsibilities. Hmm. Responsibilities? What does that mean? Well, it means that you do what others are trusting you to do. Oh, like you take the cover off my cage every morning. Yes, that's my responsibility. And we trust Molly to bring us the mail every day. And that's my responsibility. But if I didn't do my job and deliver the mail, then you wouldn't trust me to deliver it anymore. <laughs> What are some of the responsibilities that you're trusted with? I'm sure your parents trust you to pick up your toys when you're done playing with them. Maybe you're trusted to take out the garbage or to make your bed every morning. Maybe one of your friends is trusting you to take care of one of their toys. Can you think of some other ways that you're trusted? There are lots of ways we are trusted, Mr. Quigley. And just like I'm trusted to deliver the mail, God trusts us with the responsibility of telling our friends about his love. That's right. That's one of our biggest responsibilities. That sure is a big responsibility. I trust you, you trust me with responsibility. Today I will depend on you to do what you say you'll do. be off to deliver the mail. Bye, Trundle. Bye, Mr. Quigley. Bye, Molly. Bye, Molly. Say, Trundle. Yes, Mr. Quigley? I have a job for you to do. Oh, a job? A responsibility? I'll do it, Mr. Quigley. You can trust me. Dexter is sick in bed, and I want you to take this bowl of vegetable soup to him. Okay, Mr. Quigley. I'll do it. You can trust me. This is going to be a good day to learn about responsibility. Vroom, 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 yeah. Hope I have enough gas. <laughs> Danny, vroom, vroom. can I trust you to take this letter to Molly? It's very important that this go out today and I must go to the store. Sure, Mom, you can trust me. What? You're going to the store? Mom, please? Can you buy the super shoot for the stars spaceship and control center? We need it for the treehouse so we can take pretend trips to space. And we don't have enough money in the treasury to buy it. Now, Danny, we've talked about this before. You have to save enough money of your own, and then you can buy the spaceship. Oh, but Mom... Now, Danny, I said no. I have to go to the store now. Okay. Mom, can I take Lemon to the treehouse? Everyone's meeting there. Well, that's fine, but don't forget the letter. I won't forget. Oh, hi, Molly. Hi, Danny. How are you today? Uh, okay, I guess. Well, it sounds like something's bothering you. 
Yeah, well, my mom says that I need to save enough of my own money to buy the super shoot for the star spaceship and control center, and I don't have enough. Oh, I see. Well, Danny, when I was a little girl, we used to sell lemonade at a lemonade stand to make money. Huh. Hey, that sounds like a great idea. We could do it at the treehouse. Yes, and I would even buy some from you. Really? Great. Yes. <laughs> well, here's your meal for today. Oh, thanks, Molly. You're welcome. Well, bye, Danny. I'll talk to you later. Okay, let's see. There was something else. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, Molly, wait. I remember now. My mom said to make sure that you got this letter. Oh, thank you, Danny. This is a very important letter. Your mother trusted you with a big responsibility. Oh, thanks, Molly. Well, I better go off and deliver my mail now. Okay, and Lemon and I are going to the treehouse to tell the others about the lemonade stand idea. Great, I'll see you later. Okay. Boy, I can't wait to do it. It's going to be great. Lemonade... Make all that money. <sighs> we'll never be able to get the super shoot for the star spaceship and control center. <sighs> oh, I asked my mom for some money. Yeah? And she said I needed to save enough of my own. <sighs> Say, Spike, how much money do we have in the treasury? Oh, let oh, me look. Yeah. Oh, not very much. We have, let's see, one dollar hmm? and twenty-seven. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-nine cents. Mm. Oh, oh, if boy. we only had the spaceship, we could go to Mars. Oh, yeah. that'd be fun. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, there goes Mars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, let's go and explore outer space. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, beam me up, Bubba. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's open up the hatch. Mr. Brody, are you driving? I can't drive. Okay. Set a course for home. Hey, I just caught Twinkle Twinkle Little. Whoa. I don't know. I don't know either. I wish we had the body. Oh, boy. Ooh. Hi, everyone. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Hey. Lemon and I know what we can do to get enough money to buy the super shoot for the really? star spaceship and control yes. yeah. Listen to this. Listen, we can have a lemonade stand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 said it was Molly's idea. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, I'll make a sign. Oh. And I'll bring the lemons. Okay. Yeah, and I'll bring the sugar. Oh. Yeah. And I'll bring the cups. Oh, uh -oh. wait a minute. What's the matter? All those things cost money. And we don't even have enough to buy the lemons. Oh, that's right. Oh, hey, I know. What? We could each borrow the money that we need from our parents. Hey. And then buy the things. Ooh. And then we could pay them back. Hey. And then use what's left to buy the spaceship. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's see. Is there, is there anything else we need? Um, oh, we're going to need a pitcher for the lemonade. But... Mr. Quigley just bought a new one. Oh. And maybe we could borrow it. Yeah, hey, that's a great good idea. idea, Bubba. You ask him, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm on my way to Dexter's house. But I need to rest here for a minute because this basket is so heavy. Well, I'm sure Dexter can wait a few minutes while I rest. Uh, uh, I think I'll just uh, close my eyes and rest for a minute here. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. And then we 
we had a meeting at the treehouse. And I need to ask you something, Mr. Quigley. Well, sure, Bubba. What can I do for you? Well, we're going to put up a lemonade stand in the treehouse, mm -hmm. and we want to make enough money so we can buy a super shoot for the Star Spaceship and Control Center. But I need something to put the lemonade in. Well, uh, would you like to use my new pitcher? Oh, that's just what I was going to ask. Well, I'd be glad to let you borrow it. Oh, thanks a lot, Mr. Quigley. I'll be very careful with it. And you can trust me. I know that, Bubba. Go ahead, sell lots of lemonade. Thanks. <laughs> I wonder how long I've been sleeping. I'd better get this vegetable soup to Dexter. I told Mr. Quigley I would do it. It's my responsibility. Hey, well, Trundle! I I get... Oh, oh, hi, Alex! You want to play catch? Well, no, I can't. You see, I have to take this, uh... Catch? Yeah! Yeah! Well, that sounds like fun! Hey, I guess Dexter can wait a few more minutes. <laughs> yeah, let's play now! Let's play! Come on! Follow me! Throw it to me! Throw it to me! Hey, Spike, yeah. how much money do we have so far? Oh, oh yeah. Jack. Well, let's see. <gasps> I think we have enough to almost buy the spaceship. Oh, oh great. Great. Oh, Look yeah. at this. Yeah. Lemonade. Wow. That looks delicious. delicious. Yes. Right. May I have a cup? Sure. sure. Yeah. One cup. Coming up. Help yourself. I'll have some, sense. too. Oh, my. Oh, good eat yeah. lemonade. Yeah. You'll yeah. like it. Great. I'll get it for you. Wow. Well, well, there you go. Oh, boy. Ooh. Enjoy. That spaceship in no time. Hey, that's good. It's very good. Thank you. We sold a lot of our lemonade. Here's all the money that we have made. If you are thirsty, come into the shade and buy some lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade, ten cents a go and give Dexter a call and see how he's feeling. Oh, that's nice. Mr. Quigley, why don't you go by and check on him? Well, that's a good idea. In fact, I wanted to go see him because I had Trundle deliver some vegetable soup to him this morning. Oh, that was very kind of Trundle. Yes. Well, thank you, everyone, for the lemonade. It was delicious. Oh, Bye. 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 I think... Yeah. Yep. I think we have just enough to buy the spaceship. Oh, oh good. Yeah. 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 good. Well, we'd better clean up now. Okay. okay. Spike and Bubba and Lemon, will you help move this table? Okay. Yeah. It's heavy. It's heavy. Let's see. Let's I'll see help over here. Oh, be careful. Oh. I'll get the picture. <laughs> oh, no! Mr. Quigley's picture. It's broken. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh. What happened? I heard a crash. Mr. Quigley was dependent on me to take care of his picture. Yeah. Oh, and I broke it. What am I gonna do? I was responsible to return the picture. Well, oh, no. Well, maybe we could use some of the money we made to buy a new picture. Oh. Yeah, but... After we pay back the money we owe for the cups and the lemons and the sugar, and if we buy a new picture, yeah. then we'd be right back where we started. Oh. One dollar and 29 cents. Oh. oh, what should we do? Yeah. I got an idea. We could get some glue, uh -huh. yeah. and then we could try and put I'm going to give Dexter a call and see if he got his medicine. I want to make sure he got it because we want him to get better. Hello, Dexter. Did you get the medicine? 
Yes, Dr. Carabor. I'm taking one every four hours, just like it says. And I'm feeling a little better. Well, I asked Mr. Quigley to stop by and see you. And we're all praying for you, and we hope you get better real soon. OK. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Dexter. Oh, hi, Mr. Quigley. How you feeling? I'm a little better. Well, good. Say, I should cover these up. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Did you enjoy the soup I sent over this morning? Uh, I didn't get any soup. You didn't? Well, no. I asked Trundle if he would deliver it to you. Well, I haven't seen Trundle all morning, and I didn't get any soup. Hmm. Maybe That's he forgot. Maybe. Well, get better. OK. That's not like Trundle. I don't understand. I wonder what happened. Hmm. Oh, boy. Da -da -da. I think Mr. Quigley will notice. Yeah. Well, I, it's still the same color. Yeah, oh, but it is. No, it's no say. use. We either have to use the money to buy a new pitcher or buy a super shoot for the star spaceship. And give this picture back to Mr. Quigley <laughs> and yeah. hope he won't notice. Yeah. Oh, what should oh, we do? Oh, I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't know. Look at that. We had a lemonade stand. The picture crashed to the ground. No way to forget it was my responsibility. The future doesn't look too bright. Jesus wants me to always do what's right. I can't hide anything from him, cause Jesus is the light. I know what I'm gonna do. The future's looking bright. And let me tell you why. Because I know that Jesus loves me. So I'm gonna do what's right. Mr. Quigley? Hi, Trundle. Say, I just came from Dexter's house, and he told me that he never got the vegetable soup. Oh, no! The vegetable soup! Mr. Quigley, I forgot. It was my responsibility, and I didn't do it. You'll probably never trust me again. Well, Trundle, responsibility <sighs> is something that you have to learn. You don't do it right the first time then you just need to try it again. Uh, let, let me tell you a story about Moses. Oh, uh, Moses? I know who he is. God chose Moses to be the great leader of Israel. That's right. Moses had a big responsibility, and God trusted him. But Moses had to learn about responsibility, too. What, uh, Moses did? Yes. When Moses was a young man, and he, and he saw that the people of Israel were slaves in Egypt, he wanted to help them. Oh. Moses made mistakes, and God knew that he had a lot to learn about responsibility. Well, how did Moses learn about responsibility? Well, Moses went to the desert and spent the next 40 years taking care of sheep. Wow! It was in the desert that Moses learned to be responsible, even in the little things. 
Then God trusted him with a big responsibility? That's right. Well, Mr. Quigley, I want to learn about responsibility. Well, Trundle, I'll make another bowl of vegetable soup, and I want you to take it to Dexter. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Quigley. Thank you for trusting me. I'll take it right to Dexter. Good. I think I'll go check on the lemonade stand. Okay. <laughs> I think, Boy, I think that's do. what we should do. We oughta, huh? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Oh, How's hi, lemonade please, stand please. going? Well, we, we've we sold lots of lemonade. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. And we made enough money for the super shoot for the Star Spaceship and Control Center. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific. But we have to use some of that money to pay for the lemons and the sugar mm -hmm. and the sign. And yeah. we broke your picture. Oh, At first, we were going to try and fix it, mm -hmm. but we couldn't. Yeah. So we'd like to use some of the money to pay for a new pitcher. Yeah. yeah. And that puts us right back to where we started. Yeah. <laughs> One dollar and 29 cents. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Quigley, I'm sorry that the pitcher is broken. You trusted me to look after it. Yeah. Well. You trusted all of us. Yeah. yeah. Bubba, when you've got a responsibility, sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to. Mm. But you've shown me that you can be trusted because you didn't try to hide the truth. Oh. Well, if we had broken the pitcher and, yeah, and tried to hide it mm -hmm. so we could use this money for the spaceship, then we wouldn't have been responsible. Yeah, and nobody would trust us. No! I'm glad I can trust all of you. And God is happy, too. You see, when he can trust you with a small responsibility, then he can also trust you with a bigger responsibility. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Oh. I guess for now we'll have to do without the spaceship. Yeah. Well, I've got an idea. What? 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 Why don't we take this money and buy a brand new plastic pitcher, uh -huh. and then tomorrow, why don't we have another lemonade stand and make some money so that you can buy the shoot for the super, super shoot for, for the Star Spaceship and Control Center. Yeah. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. I feel better. It's been quite a day. It sure has, Mr. Quigley. What did you learn today, Trundle? Well, I learned that when I have a responsibility, if I do what I say I will do, then people will trust me. Mm -hmm. I sure learned the hard way, though. Mm. And Bubba learned that even when things don't go just right, if you tell the truth, you'll still be trusted. Uh, um, I'm tired out, Mr. Quigley. I know, Trundle. We'd better get some sleep. We have a lemonade stand to run tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Mr. Quigley. I'm sure glad you came and spent the day with us here. You're welcome at the village anytime. Remember, God loves you, and we do too. Good night. Jesus, I'm sorry I forgot to deliver the soup to Dexter today. Thank you that I got another chance to be trusted. Amen. Dear God, it's time to go to sleep. I know my busy day is done. Thanks for the promises you keep. And thanks for Jesus Christ, your son. Thank you for friends and family. Thank you for watching over me. I know I'm always in your care, and you are with me everywhere. And now it's time to go to sleep. I know my busy day is done. Thanks for the promises you keep. And thanks for Jesus Christ, your son.
Thank you.